I would describe him as the Grand Wizard of the KKK, who has uh, a form of Tourette's syndrome, but instead of uh, barking out curses, which is part of that of the affliction, he uh, barks out uh, racial epithets. I want each one of y'all to tell me something that you did to my narcotics this week. It better be good. Here. Yeah. Uh, I did knee an Indian guy. That's funny! The handlebar mustache got a little tickly, and <laughs> the lazy guy got really annoying. But, uh, it, was fun. it was a lot of fun. It's always fun to work for these guys. They're kicking the ass. Sir, I'm gonna need you to step aside, please. Just a random security check. Random, huh? No, no, no. Come on, just do what the guy says. Are you a racist? Racist? Dude, I'm black. He's black, he's not racist. <laughs> Please, you're barely even brown. Freak Show is obviously very specific. You know, their, ideas, their prosthetic makeup idea that they put on, all that stuff. It, you know, it's the small stuff that they, they allow me to ad lib and do. That was a lot of fun, you know. Uh, the the KK, guy, KK guy, I, uh, you know, handlebar was my you know, hair, uh, the eye, my idea. Uh, and some, and the Tourette's was my idea. Uh, and I'm not trying to take any, I'm not trying to take any credit. I gotta tell you, you know, what these guys write is just so sharp and so funny. But you know, it's, that's the beauty of working with them too, is that, you know, their stuff is so good and yeah, they're very open to, you know, a collaborative relationship. Yeah, I'll be honest, it's tough to jump on a train that's already moving. And it's already moving uh, at their speed and in their way, and you have to jump in, create something, get acclimated to the environment, and you know the, the environment could have been, could have been cooler and nicer and funnier. But you know, you're, you're they've been, they've been inhabiting this world, this working relationship world, for you know, sometimes weeks, sometimes months, and you're popping, you're coming out of you know New York City reality. And, plopping yourself into this world. It takes you a while to kind of soak it in. It's, it's, it's very difficult. And I know that because, you know, I look, I'm on, a, I'm on a steady gig of SVU. I've been doing it for many years. And you know, I know we have the guest stars come in. And it's a fast-moving train. So I can appreciate it. It's, it's finishing our ninth year. Uh, we're about to have our 200th episode. And... Uh, yeah, I think we're the only show that actually gained viewership this year. Yeah, we're in our ninth year. Our head writer figured out a way to tell a variety of stories, whether it's a whodunit or um, a straight kind of investigative thing, or whether it's an issue show. Uh, so it's never just, you know, kind of the rate of the week sort of deal. You know, so you think we'll, we'll be telling stories in different ways. We'll repeat ourselves sometimes. But, um, that combined with, I must say, uh, the actors genuinely like each other. And I think uh, there's kind of a, that, uh, you know, when you when you give a guy the, and a girl the, the the heroes the role of protector of women and children, you know, those are, and they may be have their problems, but in the end, you know, they're good people. They've dedicated themselves to protecting women and children. You know, that's, that's kind of a, a sympathetic... That is a sympathetic ball. Look what we got us here, brothers! Oh. Mexicans! Lisa! Oh, come on, come on! I think the premise... Uh, unbelievably brilliant and I think they uh, they pulled it off really well. and that is um, you know, what is it to be American and you have all these deep questions and all because it's it's being represented by two outsiders well, what does outsiders mean? Well, they're not two white guys, or a white and a black guy, even. You know, they do those buddy movies. No, it's two, it's a Korean guy and an Indian guy? That's genius. And it's, I think it's a, it's, it's, that's a genius premise. Because when you watch it, you go, 
you know, it doesn't matter what the color of your skin is. We're all misfits. We're all, or we have that 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 moment of feeling that, or feeling like we're outsiders, or we don't belong. Or it's, you know, it was, it was great, great. As I said, premise and great execution. And so I'm real proud of it. I'm real. I, th I think it's smart comedy. I think it's meaningful comedy. Yeah. <laughs> and they give me that guy named Freak Show. Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's where I fit in the universe. Bastards. I could have been Indian! Harold and Kumar escape from Guantanamo Bay. <laughs> they thought you guys were terrorizers. <laughs>